just making this video in the hopes that it'll help somebody else that struggled with the same issue. This is an Acer Aspire 7551-7422 laptop. When I initially installed Windows, it did not see the optical drive, whether it was in the file explorer or in the device manager. What ended up being the issue was Windows did not, or well, it was not able to find the right SATA controller drivers. So it was just using standard drivers, which was only good enough to see the hard drive. So what you have to do is you have to download the appropriate chipset drivers for your laptop, which in this case was the 900 series drivers since it has focus. It has a Phenom 2X4 N970. Um, installing the drivers won't fix the problem, but what installing drivers will do is it'll create a folder that you can point the device manager to. So you'll have to go to the SATA controller in the device manager, right click on it, go to update driver, click on browse my computer for drivers, and it should be just a matter of pointing the driver update to your C drive and then the AMD folder. If you extracted the AMD chipset driver somewhere else, then you may have to point it somewhere else. But then from there, you'll just click, click the next button and then um, let it go through its process and reboot. And that should fix your problem if Windows isn't seeing the optical drive. There may be other issues going on, but in my case, it did not see the optical drive at all. I did try some of the registry tweaks and other suggestions I found online for how to handle a computer that's not seeing an optical drive. But in this particular case, with this particular laptop, the issue came down to the fact that Windows had the wrong SATA controllers and or SATA controller drivers installed. So, yeah, hopefully that helps someone else. Thanks for watching.